This shit fucking crazy. <laughs> this some crazy shit. Cut the lights off. All right. Cut all the lights off. <laughs> Peach black in the house. Cut the whole light off. She can't pay the bills. Cut everything off. <laughs> this is getting funny. They ain't got no motherfucking body to help me with these bills. Cut all these lights off, <laughs> motherfucker. Cut all these lights off. We don't need no lights on. This shit crazy as hell. <laughs> Gotta figure out how the fuck I'm gonna pay my motherfucking rent next month. Like this shit crazy, nigga. You had me. You, you done did this shit because you knew it was close to fucking rent time. Like this shit don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga running about because I don't went the fuck out of goddamn town with some motherfucking, with some females. <laughs> hey, nigga, what the fuck? I should've been there. Like, I should've. I should've. I should've. Hold it in and hold it in. You know what I'm saying? Can't hold this shit in no more. I've been trying to hold it in and hold it in and hold it in. You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to tell nobody about it, but this some fucked up shit. So how about I come home from work last night? Now, my kids was left here with my baby daddy. Now, I close on Wednesdays and he keep my goddamn kids. This ain't nothing new. This is something he already know. So, thank God that my oldest daughter was here. So, when I got here last night, this motherfucker wasn't nowhere to be found, y'all. This shit is fucking crazy. So, how about when I get home, this motherfucker done packed up and got the fuck up out of here. He done moved all his shit up at my motherfucking house. So, I'm calling his phone. I'm blowing him up. Remind you, this is the this is my closet where all his stuff is at. Where it normally be ain't shit in the motherfucking closet. He done packed the fuck up and got up out of here. He's a fucking lame for that. Like, I'm calling his phone and asking him, like, what's going on? What's the problem? I mean, what you upset for? You know what I'm saying? Why you leave? Like, why you leave? Why you being a coward? Why you couldn't face me? Why you had to sneak and do it? Why you had to wait until I go to work and then try to go do it? Girl, stop. 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 You know what I'm saying? So, the shit is fucking crazy. All it borders down to, y'all. It's a booger hanging out your nose, man. It's a booger hanging out your nose. Why don't you get rid of the booger for the first start of recording, man? Come on, man. I know I just went on this fucking trip. I just left and went on this motherfucking trip and he wasn't feeling the goddamn trip. Tell me I'm going with a whole bunch of people that don't, that he don't know and oh. all this this and that and um, how do that look? I'm in a whole lot of relationship and I'm going out of town with people that I don't even... Oh, okay. I get it now. This is another case of a woman not respecting boundaries of her husband. Because you're strong and independent, right? You can do it all by yourself, right? You don't need no man. So your husband tells you not to go out on no stupid girl's trip with a bunch of single women. And you went anyways. And you're surprised he's left. I'm so glad men are realizing, are waking up now. Are not tolerating nonsense anymore. Because how can a man that you're married to and have kids with tell you, do not go on this trip with these girls. I don't dig them. Maybe they're bad influence or whatever. Because single women keep women single. Single women keep women single. There's a high chance of you... Maintain your relationship and your marriage if you stay away from those single women, man. Because women are constantly in competition with each other. Women do not like each other. So subconsciously or consciously, they're trying to ruin your relationship and make you bring you back in with the squad. The single lonely sad squad. Old lonely sad squad. <laughs> you didn't listen to your husband. Okay. You'll learn today. I don't know and all this motherfucking shit. You mean to tell me we've been together for 10 years. We've been together for 10 and a half goddamn years going on 11 years. Got six kids with this nigga. Like really what? Because I go on a trip. You gonna motherfucking pack your shit up and you gonna dip up at Another thing man. Guys are out there trying to date. Right? When you come across this woman that they can't, they can't make any sentence in the next five seconds without using profanity. Nigga this, MF for that, this, that, 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 that. Don't even go near them, man. This is not a woman. This is not a wife. She belongs to the streets. This this is not a wife, man. We're not raising wives in the West anymore. We're raising competition for the man. We're not raising women to be wives. We're not raising little girls to grow up to become wives, a helpmate for a man. We're raising them to be competition with the man. So these women are constantly in competition with the man. How can the man, the father of your six children, tell you, do not go on this trip. I don't like it. Stay home. Let's chill. Do not go on this. And you defy his orders and still went. Because you can do what you want. No one can tell you what to do. And now he's gone. Do you think people are just going to sit down? Do you just step over them like forever? Good on this guy for waking up, man. But still, man, why would you date someone like this, man? Sound like a gangbanger. Are you? Really? And leave me? I just moved in over here. Just leave me with this high ass rent that I gotta pay by my goddamn self? Like, that's crazy. That's some fucked up shit. 
Mark this shit crazy. This shit blowing my motherfucking mind. Mark Cousin. You didn't think about that, right? Nowadays, with the rate of how bad the economy is nowadays, two income households even struggle to put their head above water. They struggle to even make it. Two income household. And you're jeopardizing your livelihood. Because now it's not about love, relationship, no, it's about survival. You just you just effed up your entire game for a weekend girl strip. And we all know what goes on in this girl strip. Like, come on. I used to work in nightclubs, man. I see all this all the time what goes on in girl strips, man. When they're out that door of their, their matrimony home, they're like raving animals when they go out there in the club scene, man. They go wild, go crazy. The girl you think is a nice, meek, church, God-fearing girl, man, get her her single friends in the club. You will be, your mind's going to be blown away. You won't believe what they get up to at, at, at night, in the night outs, weekend away, girl strip, and all that nonsense. Her husband, this is a married woman right here. <laughs> Yo, this shit blowing my motherfucking. No married to mo. Man, Duran, put that shit up. Put that up. Put that up. Who wants to deal with this? You can't have a conversation or be one on one with a woman without yelling at a kid here, yelling at a kid here. She's going to learn that there's no the the markets don't have no mercy for no for these single women, man. Especially you're coming around with a dog with a bunch of kids, six kids or something. Man, you're you're done. You're done, man. Old fat with a bunch of kids. You're done. Better go back on your knees and beg that man. Because you can't, you're not going to do better than that man. You're not going to do better than him. And he's. <laughs> oh my lord. Go in there and sit down. I advise you to go in there and sit down. For real. This shit is crazy. I don't know what the fuck going on. This shit crazy as hell. But it's bothering me because I'm trying to figure out, like, why? Like, why? Why? What? I mean, what? what's the problem? Nigga, nigga, you that insecure? You that motherfucking insecure? What? What? It's not about insecurity. It's about rules and regulations. Like, you can't just do whatever you want here. He's, 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 he's obviously let her get away with a bunch of crap before so now that he tells her not to do this she's surprised like whoa you tell me what to do now that's why you have to set boundaries at the beginning because however you start a relationship with them is how it's going to go you have <laughs> don't tolerate nonsense at the beginning or you're going to tolerate nonsense forever possibly could i be doing when i go out of town niggas the whole time i've been with you he ain't never known me to goddamn cheat on him i ain't never cheated on him Never, never, you know, flirted on any, none of that shit with nobody. I ain't never did none. I'm, I never been that type of chick. If I'm with you, I'm with you. If I'm with you, I'm riding with you. Hands down. I ain't been nothing but great to this. And he didn't love him, love him enough to respect him. Men don't care about your love and all this affection. Men just want respect, man. Just respect me. I tell people I date, oh, like, love me less, respect me more. That's what I want. If you can't respect me, I'll leave. And I do that lots of times. I just walk away. Because I'm not here to tolerate your nonsense. Life is too short for this. Nigga, y'all. I ain't been number good to this motherfucking nigga. And for me to come home and have to see this shit. More cussing. Now I'm second guessing myself like, damn, this nigga was for real. Because first, when we was having our conversation, for real. I thought the nigga was goddamn bullshit. I thought he was playing. You know what I'm saying? He was telling me pretty much like, if you do this, I mean. Exactly. Because he's been tolerating your crap all this while. And you, you, you got used to it. So the moment he decided to be serious, you thought he was joking. That's why you have to lay the rules from the very beginning. You have to lay it all out. This is the do's and this is the don'ts. This is what I'll tolerate. This is what I won't tolerate. You just telling me you going. I remember one time I, I was in my, I think I was 19 and I was dating this woman. She was 32, 33. She had, a, of course, she was a single mom, a white woman. And she thinking maybe I'm just a little kid or whatever and then she was like what if she gets pregnant or whatever I was like what if you get pregnant you can have the baby I don't, I don't believe in abortion and all that I'm a Christian and all that and then she was like well if we, if we have a kid can the kid take my last name as in her last name <laughs> I was like man don't let this accent fool you man I am Nigerian to the core like we don't tolerate this horse crap what my kid's gonna take the woman's last name I just told her I was like I'll pretend I didn't hear that I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. 19 years old. And she was looking, she looked at me like, oh, wow. You could tell the, the look in her face like, all right, this is a man right here. You, don't, don't tolerate nonsense, man. I'm out of town. You didn't ask me what? Like, why the fuck I got to ask you? Could I go out of town? I'm a grown ass one. I'm 35 years old. Why the fuck I got to ask you? Because he's your husband. He should be the head. Why do you have to tell him? 
Lord, you have to ask him. Oh, my Lord. You see, we don't raise wives in the West. We raise boisterous women. Boss lady mentality nonsense. Right here on your screen. You're seeing right here. And they're usually overweight. Uh, you know, you don't ever since, you know what I'm saying? Which is true, y'all. I ain't never been on no trip or no vacation without this nigga. Every time we go on a trip with the kids and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It's always me and him. Or sometimes we leave the kids behind and then we go on a trip. It just be us two. But wow, you tripping over that because I went on a motherfucking vacation? Because I went on a motherfucking vacation, you tripping about that? Like he got me twisted. And then the Jeep that he's driving that shit in my name, now I can be nasty and got them call the police and tell the motherfucking police that he done stole my motherfucking Jeep. See, that's where he got me fucked up at. So I can get nasty. Like this shit. All these threats don't mean nothing, man. You call the police and they stop him and, and, and you know, seize the Jeep or whatever. They're not going to arrest him because they'll know straight ahead this is a domestic issue. All he has to do is explain everything what's going on. A, a, a cantankerous woman trying to ruin him. He'll be fine. They'll give you your car back and everybody move on. Pay his child support and move on. Set child support for six kids. Oh, nigga, you're done. Six kids? With this woman? Crazy as hell, y'all. I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do. Like, what the fuck I'm about to do? I'm up here, don't move in this damn three-bedroom motherfucking place. Three-bedroom, um, three bedroom, two and a half baths. Gotta pay all this motherfucking rent by my goddamn self. And ain't on top of that, take care of fucking nine kids by myself, y'all. This shit crazy. And six of these kids are his motherfucking kids. Nine kids. Nine kids. It's what I'm talking about. This man is a, a low level man, a low level human being. You know, he didn't only impregnate a single mother six times. She already had three kids prior to you guys relationship. And I'm sure for multiple men. So she's got about three on the conservative side. She's got about three, three baby fathers. And this is who you impregnated and has six more kids with. Wow. Like this crazy. This shit crazy as fuck. I don't know what the fuck going on with these niggas. Like why the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like because I go on a trip. Like what's the problem? Like I'm still lost. Like what? What is it? Men are waking up, but they're not going to tolerate this nonsense anymore. They're not going to tolerate this nonsense anymore, man. <laughs> what's the motherfucking problem? You don't see what the problem is? Shit, niggas went down there doing nothing. My mom always told me when a man started accusing you of going out, going somewhere and doing something with somebody that they doing something. Don't project. Like, this just didn't come about because of this trip. This is some shit that you already had planned. So I called this motherfucker mama because I, I guarantee you that's who house he going to. Because it's probably been brewing for a while and he's had it up to here with your attitude, bad manners. Who would want to deal with this? And people were like, a lot of the Western men are like, they can't deal with this crazy boss ass ladies bad bitch mentality women and they're going over to all the countries to find love like they're going to africa and all that and then they get there and realize oh shit this is just as bad over here <laughs> so remind you his mama and i we you know i thought you know what i'm saying i consist of being kind of cool you know what i'm saying yeah we don't bump heads in the past but i thought we came you know we got over there so i called his motherfucking mom and shit and she talking about um well i ain't got nothing to do with that um, Jamel, he told you if you go out of town, you know what I'm saying, that didn't sit well with him. He was going to have a problem with it. And you just took it upon yourself and went on. They always call the mom, yo. They always call the mothers because the black system of rule, we're in the matriarchal system of rule. We're not in the patriarchal system. That was ended a long time ago in the 40s, 50s, 60s. And now the government empowers the women. Because how you get hold of, of an entire race of people... You demonize the man, you sideline the man, and put the woman in charge. You know. Because men of every race are always more loyal to the race than their women. A woman would go with whoever is in power. That's just your nature. They survivors by nature. You went out of town, you know what I'm saying? You went a whole lot of relationship. Hold up, stop. Hold up, lady. What the fuck? Like you, like you taking up him. You as his mama should be like, you know what I'm saying? Chill, Jamea. Let the girl go out. I don't go nowhere, y'all. If I, if, only time I go somewhere, my when I do decide to go somewhere, my kids are with me. I don't go nowhere unless my kids are with me because I have so many kids. You know, it's hard for me to find a fucking babysitter with that amount of fuck. It's gonna be impossible for you to find a man with nine kids. You better go back on your knees 
beg this nigga. Lie down on the floor and beg him. Because all these kids by himself? And him being a low level man, like, how much are you going to get from him for child support? How much? Kids. So I don't go nowhere already. So when a nigga trying to step out and enjoy life and get some me time away from get everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just relax and get my head and shit together. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the rest. You know what I'm saying? This nigga slam me over here with all this kid, you know what I'm saying? And it's me time going to get a trip girl in there. Who the fuck wants this? Everybody getting up, cooking, cleaning. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, some me time. It's a it's fucking, fucking problem. It's a fucking problem. This shit fucking crazy. <laughs> This some crazy shit. Cut the lights off. Alright. Cut all the lights off. <laughs> the pitch black in the house. Cut the whole lights off. She can't pay the bills. Cut everything off. <laughs> this is getting funny. Ain't got no motherfucking body to help me with these bills. Cut all these lights off. <laughs> Cut all these lights off. We don't need no lights on. This shit crazy as hell. <laughs> Gotta figure out how the fuck I'm gonna pay my motherfucker next month. Like this shit crazy. Nigga, you had me you, you done did this shit cause you knew it was close to fucking rent time. Like this shit don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga running about because I don't went the fuck out of goddamn time with some motherfucking with some feet nigga. Hey nigga what the fuck I should've been doing this I should've. That's what the fuck I should've did. Found me a fucking nigga from down there in fucking Houston and fucked up on him. Since I gotta come home to this motherfucking bullshit. That's what the fuck I should've did. I should've did it. This shit crazy. Oh Ain't no way in the hell I would've signed up for all this high ass goddamn rent and I knew I was gonna do this shit by my goddamn self. Ain't no way in the fuck I would've did this. <laughs> shit, I work a nine to five. I'm living from paycheck to fucking paycheck. I can't afford this rent. I ain't ashamed to tell y'all. I can't afford this motherfucking rent by my goddamn self. This nigga done took all his shit up at the motherfucking car. All his shit gone. I can't he ain't leave shit up in his motherfucking. Ain't nothing up in his car, no nothing but my shit. And then left his motherfucking empty ass shoeboxes in here. Nigga, what the fuck you take your empty ass goddamn shoeboxes? About my goddamn house. That's all right though. That's all right though. Cause I'm gonna put his motherfucking ass on child support. He don't block me. After I, I, I called him and said what, when, when he answered the phone, he picked the phone up. He laughing like this motherfucking shit funny and shit. This shit ain't no motherfucking funny. This shit ain't funny. You just don't let me out here to die. For a day, nigga. You don't let me out here for fucking days. <laughs>